Hey, if you're looking for a stunning breakfast in Spoo, you've come to the right place. It is summer, which means hot. The more south you live in Germany, the worse it gets, I'm now realizing. Long story short, my breakfast has to be cold and refreshing. I have some 3 minute no bake muesli, a 2 minute chocolate mousse bowl and a 1 minute savory all in breakfast bowl. No, I'm just kidding. I don't know how long it takes to make these, but it's like 5 minutes or so. <laughs> It's really quick. The other day I had to accept with grief and sadness that my cereal slash muesli was gone. Shocking. So it was my wake up call to make some new one. Um, to start out, you will basically need some old fashioned oats, corn flakes, jack of all trades, nuts, really healthy and good for you raisins and I chose some apple rings, dried apple rings. You could substitute any of those with dried dates or apricots are really nice as well. What is going on in my mess? I also found some coconut chips. Um, I knew I had them somewhere. These are really nice to use in muesli and everything. So I chopped up a handful of those dried apple rings. Also by the way, I kept this muesli low budget. So there's no super foods or any holy goji berries in there or activated buckwheat. Just the basic delicious staples you can find at any grocery store usually. So to my bowl I first added around a handful of those chopped apple rings, two cups of old fashioned oats, mine were like whole grain or something, half a cup of those corn flakes and also a handful of chopped nuts. Then I took care of those coconut chips to make these a bit smaller and adding these to my bowl as well. And a quarter cup of raisins, I love these recently. And also some sunflower seeds. We're still on a low budget for the sunflower seeds as well. I added that everything into a big jar, which doesn't look as big, but it's big. Brimful, closed it, done. And I had some more left for a smaller jar. Nice. Up next, I'm gonna show you how to eat this correctly, in the best way. Chop up one apple. Stay focused and put all of these chunks to a bowl. along with some frozen raspberries. Grab the peanut butter, not yet. Add a good amount of elegant looking muesli to the bowl, followed by some oat milk or any kind of milk. Yes, this is oat milk in a jar. You're almost done. The peanut butter should not be spreadable, but runny like this one. Love this stuff. So beautiful and runny in my muesli and no, that's that's not it. Stop. Yeah, something's missing. Something sweet. Banana. Chop up more banana, add cinnamon on top. This is gorgeous, delicious. And oh, she's gone. She's gone. Ate this quickly. This is chocolate mousse. You should give a try because it's kind of low carb, I guess. You should take some yogurt, vegan yogurt that you really like. Mine was coconut yogurt. To that, just add a good amount of cacao powder. Unsweetened, natural, all packed with nutrients and vitamins. I don't know. Then I just added some protein powder, which is optional. This is so fluffy and gorgeous looking. To the chocolate mousse, you could also add like some agave or maple syrup to make it sweeter. Or add a bit of banana on top, more natural muesli that we've just made. Um, with maybe some more cacao nibs or nut butter on top. Hazelnut butter is awesome. Basically all of these ingredients that seem a bit more fancy like the hazelnuts or cacao nibs or nut butters, whatever else. I usually get pretty cheap at low priced grocery stores like Lidl or Aldi sometimes, so just keep an eye on this. 
This is so indulgent and chocolatey and creamy. You can even freeze this for a couple of minutes and it will be like ice cream texture. So and here's this gorgeous savory bowl that I hinted at at the beginning. Also great for these moments when you just want to use up leftover anything. <laughs> I had some cooked quinoa, I chopped up some celery and I really wanted to add this gorgeous mango for this sweetness and juiciness to my bowl. I really love mango in savory dishes as well. So yeah, there went the mango, which by the way, it looks like I'm chopping fish here in the back. Mango gets so close to the texture of fish, it's creepy. I added my quinoa and lentils and the lentils I just cooked up with a couple of spices that I liked. I have an in-depth version of a super nice lentil breakfast right here, which is one of my favorite savory breakfasts next to avocado toasts. It's awesome, so good. As you can see for some more color, oh we have so many colors, I added some paprika and paprika powder. I decided to add some beautiful avocado, but... They ask you how you are, you just say that you're fine, and you're not really fine, you just, you just can't get into it because... However, we just keep on trying and trying again. I'm not getting rid of that 99 cent green black fruit with all its rotten healthy fats. Therefore, I added um, some of the good parts to the bowl. And what I love, love, love having on top of lentils, savory dishes, everything is tahini. Guys, tahini is so awesome. It's life changing. It's everything. I love this stuff more than people sometimes. I don't know. Just add some more nuts on top to balance out the rotten fats from the avocado that were non-existent anymore. Oh, and don't forget that squeeze of lemon juice. I want this right now so bad. It's really, really good. I hope there was something in there for you and you found some new summer vegan breakfast inspo. Go and check out these videos for more healthy food. And that is it. I love you all. Bye. Okay, mm, it feels like every summer is getting hotter. So personally, I like putting sugar in some water in a pot until it heats up and makes syrup. I can mix with some fresh lemon juice. Then I stir and take a sip like... Ah.